Anyway, I'll dive into the fight again and pick up where I left off before technical issues. But yeah, so I've got... Uh, I think there's two endings for me to get. One involves beating the final secret, actual final secret, real boss final. And the other involves beating this guy and then just leaving. Which gets you something equivalent to the Dark World ending of Dark Souls. I definitely schooled this boss the last few times I fought it, but I'm uh, a little bit discombobulated by the inexplicable issues I'm having with the stream today. Hello, hello indeed. Is the audio less problems now? Can you can you hear the game? The audio is good now, but I'm so discombobulated by the relentless setup issues that I've forgotten how to play this video game. <laughs> So yeah, after after this fight, I'll um, simply leave instead of killing him, which should get us one of the endings I don't have yet. And then after that, I'll start trying to I'll start trying to grind the final boss fight, which I've heard is incredibly difficult. Like, I think I'm supposed to just be able to leave. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe you do have to eat him. But there's definitely an ending you can get where you just... Where you let the contagion run free and control the world, which I guess this ending isn't. I've had this ending like four times now. <laughs> oh, well, this is a slightly different version of this ending, which I've had once now.
So if that's not how you leave, I wonder how you leave. Because I'm sure there's a way to do that. I think it makes us sit through the credits, which is a bit irritating. I suppose I could close the game and reboot it, actually, which would be a clever way, <laughs> a clever way of solving that problem. But I can let it run for a minute while I find out. Oh, huh. no, apparently I was just completely wrong about that. You can't choose to leave and allow the world to fall into darkness. Or to light, I suppose, as the case is here. I'm kind of surprised. Two of the endings... In fact, all three of the other endings that don't involve beating the secret final boss, which is what I'm going to do next, uh, involve side quests that I think at this point would be just tedious that I don't really want to do. One which involves... Uh, beating the like upgraded version of the secret final boss in the DLC that lets you do a whole bunch of extra versions of boss fights. Um, but I'm not really interested in doing that one because I don't want to have to go through a whole DLC thing. I'd like to move on and stream something else. And another one also requires that and a, a, a tedious side quest. And then there's apparently a bonus scene if you've listened to Mr. Mushroom everywhere you can find Mr. Mushroom. And I have found several Mr. Mushrooms. But I have not uh, not listened to all of them in a particular order, so... But yeah, no, I think I'm, <laughs> I'm, I am more than ready to be done with Hollow Knight, so I think I'll just beat the final boss. The final boss is Secret Extra Final Boss. And then it'll be time to go play something else at long last. <laughs> uh, I am hoping to stream a bit more often. I liked it back when I had two streams a week as like a as like a standard, but um, things have been standing in my way. My health, logistical inconveniences like having to do stuff, and just the fact that like like I don't have a private room to stream in or whatever, like so I have to occupy the living room for a while. Which is logistically inconvenient inside the household for everybody else. Anyway, time to go try and actually beat the secret boss. Which might be difficult.
got to be a little more careful about not taking double hits. As far as I know, you have to beat the you have to beat the first two phases of the the Hollow Knight before you can come and fight the uh, the Radiant Being every single time. So if this turns into a real grind, I might straight up just <laughs> give up on it. There's a lot of really cool DBZ style effects in this game. Actually, I I really like the uh, charge up. Uh, the charge up flight move. Oh, that's rough. It's like playing Flappy Bird and Super Hexagon at the same time. This is mostly a platforming challenge though, so so far it's pretty easy. Except that I don't have any time to heal. Oh, don't like that. <laughs> That'll teach me to open my fat mouth. <laughs> okay, I think I might want to change a couple of these. Grub song might still be useful. I think I'll get rid of grub song actually. What I really want is the the hive blood. It's very slow to heal using hive blood, but it does give me the ability to not die terribly. Okay, I'll swap Mark of Pride for Long Nail so that I can save one slot, which will give me enough that I can have the hive blood. Because there's not really any any windows to heal in in that fight. And two of those were nav navigational aids that I don't need anyway. Oh, did I take my range reduction? Did I did I reduce my nail range? I might have to change that. have that? What have I got? Quick slash, dash master, long nail. Alright, oh, of course I reduced my range. I knew I did that. I think getting rid of quick slash in favour of the mark of pride actually is probably smarter. I don't have time to land enough hits anyway, so the increased range is more beneficial. So, what's something useful I can do with the rest of those then? I could pick Grub Song back up. Quick Focus is tempting, but I'd have to rearrange my numbers again. Same for Carefree Melody.
Oh, steady body. I do actually. Steady body is important. I mistook that for. I mistook that for the uh, gathering swarm. I shouldn't have unequipped that. I'm used to not having knockback on my attacks. Uh, okay, and then I'll take Grubsel. That'll probably do. Fine. Dragon Ball Z ass flight animal. Ew, hang on. I've got my little buddy. My little buddy who lives inside me that I have to devour and swallow every time I die. Really need more space to dodge that one. Come on, buddy. Hello. You've joined just in time for my second attempt at the real secret, actual secret, final secret, boss secret. And in order to fight it, I have to fight the normal final boss every time. I feel like the King's Palace is a training zone for this fight. Yeah, this one might drive me insane. I will probably give myself this one stream to do it. And if I fail, I fail. And I'll probably beat it on my own time. And maybe record that and put it up on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, I think that if I can't beat it on stream this time, yeah, I'll just, I'll record myself doing it. I put it on YouTube, but I will just move on to the next game because it's been like a year. This has been my stream game at this point, and I streamed very little last year, way less than I wanted to, but it's still. Uh, I got shit to do, you know?
Are you literally, literally the Hollow Knight, or are you figuratively, literally the ho Hollow Knight? These and other pedantic phrasings can be yours for only four ninety nine. Just like that one fight in Sekiro where you have to fight the guy so that you can fight the guy, so you have to fight the guy again every time that you want to fight the guy. Sekiro, guy fights the video game. You saw that one? Yeah, I saw that. Okay, cool. Well, hop back inside. The mild disappointment of your own ghost watching you fail. As Sun Tzu once said, always take advantage of your opponent's self-destructive tendencies. I didn't know that. That's a shame. I mean, it's not surprising, but it it is also a shame. fight it for more than 10 seconds. I feel like I could make some progress with regards to learning how to fight it. I wonder if I'm being too aggressive and I should focus on dodging.
You done, sir? All right. Oh, no, he's not done. It was a clever trick to get me to lose one hit point, exactly. I think if I could just start this fight over and over without having to beat him every time, then I would probably grind it out on stream, but I will say I'm, I'm kind of bored of fighting the Hollow Knight. Seems to be possible to get stuck in a chain where you have no choice but to lose a couple of hit points. Or take a couple of hits, rather. Because the only way to dodge that vertical beam is to use the shadow dodge. I don't know that they can war cry me out of the air. Get the wait a lot later than I expect to hit that dodge. Also, for some reason I thought there was a degree of escalation. I thought that uh, certain ac attacks would show up later, but it looks like all of them are available from the start and it can just uh, give me an unlucky opening. Which, I mean, like, obviously it's a skill issue, you know. Bad workman and all that. But. <clears throat> I can't help but think that getting unlucky with the first couple of attacks is uh, rough. I 
actually, I wonder if a smart thing to take into this fight would be the Dream Shield. Because the Dream Shield kind of just rotates around you and uh, does damage to, to the things it hits. Which means that I could potentially do some damage to the, the moth while also not taking too much damage. Or rather, I could focus on dodging and let the shield hit it occasionally. But I don't know that it would be worth losing the other abilities that I'd have to sacrifice to use that one. I'm trying to visualize fighting this thing as fighting like a really difficult Sonic the Hedgehog boss. Like it's occasionally going to make part of the battlefield inaccessible to me. And I just have to put up with that. I think this is by far the roughest time I've had, a, had with a boss on this game. And that's one reason why I won't be pursuing the DLC that gives you like extra tough, extra versions of all the bosses. I wonder how long she holds him like that, actually. Get the Do I have time to, like, go get a drink? Or will he break free? Eventually I'll hit a point where I decide I'm not going to be able to do this on stream. I guess the question is whether or not that comes before or after 
the two hour mark. If I start to tilt against the Hollow Knight, that's when I'll know, I think, that it's time to take a break. I think it gives me all my health back when I come into the dream world anyway, though. So I probably don't need to be healing up first. I don't even know how many hit points she has. I think I would find the bosses easier if I knew how much further I had to go. But I suppose that's true of like all bosses. In all video games. It's very rare, it's very rare that knowledge about how much health they have is not helpful. At least at least for morale, if nothing else. Oh, that seems unfair. I've never been hit during a war cry before. I don't know if that's what those are called, but it seems as good a name as any.
Oh, it does heal me up when I go here. Can I stand between these? I don't... I think I have to stand in the gaps. While I will admit that I am probably more fun than doing your taxes, I would disagree that I was kicking butt. I was something like my 10th attempt. And I still have no idea if I'm even like... getting halfway? Am I getting a third of the way through that boss? I like, I straight up, like, I have no clue how much health it has and how long it's going to take me to get through it. So yeah, I have to go through the first two phases of him every time I want to try this boss. For Bino, who may not be aware, because I don't know if they've played this game and they weren't watching earlier. I really like its design though. I like the whole like radiance ath aesthetic. I love knocking him into no next phase when he's off screen.
I wonder if there's any pins that give a extended invincibility time after I take a hit. That would be extremely useful on this fight. Actually, maybe I should check out... Maybe I should think about switching up some pins. Steady body probably doesn't matter so much for her. I don't know how much benefit I'm actually getting from Hive Blood. I'm not sure how much I'm... I'm dying too fast in the fight with her for that to matter. So I may as well rack up on other benefits. Although, of course, that will change my, like, muscle memory and skills at beating the Hollow Knight, so... Who's to say whether it's actually good or not? Taking the shield for a couple extra hits will help, though. Oh, that was the fastest I've made it through that. <laughs> the dream net, uh... Not the Dream Nail. The Dream Shield definitely did its value in that then. And the faster attacks as well. This hadn't happened before. I must really be doing more damage. Damn, for real? Is that another phase, or...? stand in this? No. <laughs> I thought when it looked all uh, shadowy that might mean that I was safe to stand in it, but nope. Boy, oh boy. Okay, well now I know what phase two is, I guess. Definitely keeping the shield. It's always nice to have a theory and then have that theory <clears throat> be indicated as being, you know, beneficial. It's probably a better way to phrase that.
More than doubling your DPS leads to faster kills, who knew? <clears throat> I guess we learn something new every day. I think I got really lucky with the uh, <clears throat> RNG on the start of the previous one. She just stood there and let me wail on her for a while while I, while I easily dodged laser beams. The easiest to deal with attack. I have heard that there is a particular a particular one of the spells that makes that makes that fight a lot easier. But it's the one I never remember to use. <laughs> pause when I do this. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, okay. Oh dear. <laughs> Whoops. I'm just gonna let him kill me now because that's- I don't want to go through the whole other ending. Such is life when you're just a little bug. Where's the other spell? Howling Wraiths, I think, shoots out a bunch of little guys that target if you have one of these equipped. It might be one I don't have, or it might be... Might be this one? I'm for real not sure. Supposedly it... Oh, there we go, it's this one. A horde of volatile baby flukes. I'm going to give that a go, just to see what happens. Then I might go back to using the shield. I might not trivialise the fight, but I've heard it makes it easier. seem to summon a horde of things. Oh wait, it's just B. Maybe it's just the upwards attack by itself and I'm misunderstood. These guys don't seem to do anything. Are you kidding me? hurt him at all?
All right, I'm gonna try it this time. I don't like it did a few hits. Yeah, I don't think Fluke Nest is where it's at. I could go back to Dream Shield, or I could trust in the strength of my own arms and go back to Mark of Pride, Grub Song. Actually, where's the one that makes spells do more damage? The Shaman Stone. Increases the power of spells. Yeah, I think I'll give that a go. Then try using the, the up attack. Shaman Stone sounds like a comic book character from the 1940s. Oh no, from the 80s really. Hmm, no, I'm gonna go introduced in the 60s but became popular in the mid-70s when a popular line was rebooted including him on the team up. Why well, yes, I have been thinking about the 1970s X-Men reboot. Oh, I don't start with full spirit, just full health. <laughs> Get wrecked, me. Ugh. I think I might be able to beat it, but I think that's going to be it for me for today, actually. I can only bash my head against a brick wall before my wrists start hurting. A physical relationship which is not worth uh, attempting to examine in detail, because it does not make sense. Anyway, my wrists are starting to hurt, so I'm going to give up on this boss fight for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.